What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple releases iOS 11.2 beta 2 for all devices except for the iPhone 10. So if you remember last week Apple released iOS 11.2 beta 1 for all devices and then on Friday if you're following me on Twitter you saw that Apple actually pushed out iOS 11.2 beta 2 for just the iPhone 10. So today on Monday Apple decides to release beta 2 for all other devices besides the iPhone 10. So of course in this video we're going to be taking a look at what's new and see what's been changed here in beta 2 as well as some of the bugs I noticed with beta 1 after using it for a week. So first of all, you can see here that iOS 11.2 beta 2 came in at 132.7 megabytes here on my iPhone 8 plus, which of course was running beta one before this. And if we back out and go into our settings and check out the build number, about right there, you can see the build number is 15C5097D. So that's the exact same build number as the iPhone 10 version of 11.2 beta 2. So there's no difference at all. Now there's no difference in the build number, but there is a difference in what the iPhone 10 got versus all other devices. And that is new wallpaper. So the iPhone 10 got brand new wallpapers. However, none of the other devices got them. So they're actually new live wallpapers for the iPhone 10. But of course, those are exclusive just to the iPhone 10. You will not find them on any other device. And aside from that, there was nothing new found at all in 11.2 beta 2 on the iPhone 10 from Friday. So I'm assuming just the wallpapers, that's pretty much the only thing that's changed as well as some bug fixes and probably some security enhancements on the back end. Now there were some bugs I noticed while using beta one for a while. And the first one is that notifications would just randomly not appear while the device was unlocked. So randomly when I'd be using my device and it was unlocked, I would just not get notifications at all. Like I would not get the banners or anything whatsoever. Now it is a little bit early to say whether or not that's been fixed here in beta two, but I have tested it myself by sending myself text messages and and I am getting the notifications every time. So it appears that that notification bug has been fixed here in beta two, which is great because that's one of the most annoying bugs you can have. And then another major bug that a ton of people on Twitter were messaging me about is that a lot of users got pop-ups prompting them to update to a newer firmware version, even though they were on the latest, which was 11.2 beta one at the time. They were saying, you know, they got a prompt that said you need to update to the latest firmware, but they were already on the latest. So that appears to be fixed as well. Again, it's still early, so it may not be fixed, but it does appear to be fixed. I've tried to replicate that issue I've tried to get that pop-up to come up and I cannot get it to come up. So that appears to be fixed. Another very annoying bug that has hopefully been fixed here in beta two. But aside from that, there's really nothing else changed. Of course, we do have the calculator issue that has been fixed. That was fixed in beta one. So you can now press it as fast as you want. You don't have any input lag, which is great. Of course, we do have 3D touch multitasking back here as well, which works wonders on the iPhone 10 as well. And as far as performance, it feels about the same as beta one. Of course, it is still too early to tell if performance is better, but I doubt there's a really big difference at all. And it's the same with battery. I doubt there's going to be a huge huge difference from beta one to beta two. And I will say that battery life was great on beta one. It wasn't anything too crazy. It wasn't a big difference from iOS 11.1, but it did seem about the same as 11.1. So that's always a good thing that it's not going backwards. Now we could probably expect beta three to come next week and we may also be getting an iOS 11.1.1 later on this week or possibly next week as well. We'll kind of just have to wait and see. Of course, with the iPhone 10 out now, we probably will be getting a little bit more betas than normal. We may even get some more exclusive ones just to the iPhone 10. We'll just kind of have to wait and see on that. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for iOS 11.2 beta two. Really nothing changed at all. Just some minor bug fixes and security enhancements on the back end for all devices, except for the iPhone 10. If you guys found anything in iOS 11.2 beta 2, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS 11 and iOS 10 content coming very, very soon. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.